So the next step in the process to get our pottery studio ready is to set up the wheel we just got. Uh, we're still waiting to stain this. This is our rolling butcher block workbench uh, project. Uh, it's been winter here, so getting the garage warm enough to actually stain the butcher block uh, has been a challenge. So right now it still has a protective plastic coating on it, and hopefully we'll catch a warm day here where it's over 50 inside the garage to be able to get that done. But today I'm going to build a rolling um, sort of elevated bench for the pottery wheel we bought that will allow us to throw pots standing up instead of sitting down. So I'll put a picture of the pottery wheel up here. You can see what we're looking at, but um, it supports itself on feet right now that you can adjust so I'm going to basically support it the same way. Built a little CAD model of it, kind of step through it. But the first step here is going to be to cut all the 2 by 4s So like the workbench, it's all 2 by 4 construction except for a few 2 by 6s uh, which I'm going to use to actually support the pottery wheel itself and then provide a little platform on the bottom where we can put the foot pedal and that sort of thing. And then uh, once we get done with that, we got a few other projects coming up. So eventually we'll stain this, finish this workbench, um, and then I'm gonna run 240 circuit in the garage here for the kiln we bought. And then we're gonna put uh, some ventilation in for both ventilating the, the garage itself and then specifically ventilating the kiln. And that will convert our garage into, I guess, a combination of tractor storage, pottery working, and uh, at least one car in here. Maybe someday we'll work to get in some sort of an outbuilding shed, but for now, that's what we're doing. All right, the first step is cutting the two by fours. I got four studs here. I'm gonna cut so that I've got ring around the top, a ring around the bottom, and then I'll have legs that are similar to the ones we built for the workbench. So I need two 30 inch boards, two 27 inch boards per round. So four 30, four 27 inch. And then I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight 13 inch boards for the legs. And that's pretty much all the cutting except for the two by tens, which we'll do later. Um, so I'll get working on that. So, looking at the plans, we got the ring boards here, those are the 27 and 30 inch boards, then the leg boards here, those are all the 13 inch boards, and then I went ahead and cut the 2x6s, so we'll have two 2x6s on the top so that you can reach in underneath and tighten these uh, leg bolts, and then I'll have three of those two by sixes on the bottom just so that we can drop the foot pedal and everything into there. And then these are the casters, which we will install. They're pretty neat. Link in the description for these, but they're rolling casters. And then when you get it where you want it, you can ratchet that red piece there and it drops down this foot so that you can get it level. So we'll have two ways to level and adjust the height. That'll be one way and then um, these 3 8 inch bolts that go up into the foot of the wheel can adjust it too. But this could be adapted to any kind of tool really, but this is
what we're using it for. Here I have uh, laid out the legs as they'll go so that I can mark the boards that get the pocket holes. So the pocket holes need to go in through here and into the board here at this angle. So it's these inside boards that get the pocket holes. And we gotta keep them straight. So we'll know now that they're laid out. I'll number them or something like that. Setting up the top and bottom rings here. And basically what I do is get a clamp here, kind of hold these two pieces together and have a little backer board on there. This clamp is just the right size to kind of keep that backer from moving. That way when you drill the, the holes, they don't work apart because they're coming in at an angle. So whatever you need to do to just keep them straight. All right, top and bottom rings are set up. And now I'm gonna pocket hole the legs together and then we can attach it all up. and bottom rings on with the legs. Just pre-drilled some holes in the two by four legs, top and bottom, and then use the impact drill to screw them in. So nobody will see that. So now all we have to do is put the two by sixes on top and then put the casters on and mount the wheel. We're getting ready to put the two by sixes on. I'm just, again, mark out, oops, focus, there we go. Mark out the hole locations, pilot drill the holes so the boards don't crack. And then uh, I'll use the impact drill to screw them in. So this is the bottom. I'm gonna put three boards across the bottom and then there'll be two boards on the top that will finish out the height differential I need and uh, the bottom boards will be hooked in the casters onto them and then the uh, top boards we will be attaching the pottery wheel to. So we set this up for the casters. I've got them sitting just about a half inch off of the edge. So they'll fasten into some meat of the wood. And they've got this ratchet so we can still reach the ratchet from underneath. That lifts this thing up and down. It's got a little toggle switch, so flip it the other way. You can ratchet it back down. So I laid it out. Marked the holes, pre-drilled, and then I'm using these flat-based screws. They come with small bolts meant to like through bolt, but I am going to screw them. So we're going to do that. Wrong drill. Let's try the right drill. Probably overkill to put these in with an impact drill. Again, that is what I'm doing. Let's get this straight. There we go. I'm thinking that my holes were not as accurate as I might.
I lost my bit. <laughs> Seems to be a common theme. You drill it in, and when you take the drill out, then the bit goes. Alright, then we're just gonna repeat that endeavor for the next. switch on there so that it'll pop go up the next time we do it all right I got the time lamps running but we're gonna do that three more times all right last screw last screw for the base now we can flip this thing over put the two top boards on where the wheel will mount and it will be done, except for mounting the wheel and painting it. We need to get a good coat of primer and paint all over because when we use the wheel, this will get water on it. There we go. Rolls around well. Boards on. Huh? You can see here, they actually thread up into the legs, and then they've got a set screw up at the top. Um, so what I'm going to do is drill holes in those top two by six, or sorry, two by tens. And uh, I will thread the bolts through and then run a nut down with a washer on the top so that it'll hold the bolt in place on the two by six. And then it'll be able to, if I loosen that nut thread up into the leg here, and then I'll still use that set nut at the top so we can adjust the leg height ultimately. So right now I'm gonna take all those off and I will thread in the new longer bolts I have so they can go through the two by tens and then set it down on those platforms so I can get it right where I want it and then I'll mark them and drill the holes. They're three eighths inch bolts. We set the wheel up and marked out the locations. So I'm gonna drill the holes and we will mount it up, make sure it works, and then it'll be ready to finish. All right, here it is. All set up and ready to go. The legs are attached with the bolts. So it's not going anywhere. It's very stable. Not going to tip. We may, if we find that the height is not optimal, switch out two by sixes for ply or two by tens for plywood. But that would be another step down the road. We'll try it this way for a while. See how it goes. So we decided that this is a little too high for our desires for the pottery wheel. So what I am gonna do is take the screws out of the top ring here. I took the top plates off. Drop this down so it's basically just the two two by fours on top of each other. Uh, chop off the top of the legs and then uh, reattach the top boards and that should be just about the right height. The nice thing about this design though is that you could use it for just about anything so I may actually build another one of these um, potentially for my chop saw if I don't just grab something off the shelf but uh, or makes a nice little caddy or anything else that you want to be able to have a small bench or toolbox or something to roll around. but. Uh, for what we're trying to do, it needs to be a little shorter. So I'm gonna tackle that now and uh, I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. 
So there we are, nothing the Sawzall couldn't fix. I went ahead and just took the screws out of the legs for that top ring, dropped the ring down, re-screwed the legs back in, which are probably a bit superfluous at this point, but it's extra beefy. And then went ahead and sawzall the tops of the legs off. And then right now I just have the two top boards for mounting the wheel set in place uh, without screwing them in because I'm going to leave them off for priming and painting. But that'll be the next task here is just get it all painted up and then we'll be done. I've primed the cart and put two coats of primer on it last night and then uh, putting some paint on it now. We're not winning any awards with this paint job, but the point isn't really to make it look super pretty. It's just to kind of protect it from pottery spillage. And it is shop furniture, so I'm not too worried about it. But if you wanted to make it look really nice, I would probably caulk all the seams and then I would have sanded it um, but not really the point, so just getting a good protective coating on there. Got the first coat of actual paint on there, put the tops on, and then I'm going to go ahead and put on a second coat, and then we'll be done. Because even like, you know, the that's a good height for <clears throat> centering getting it nice and solid on there. And then leaning over a teeny bit isn't a big deal. But then it still gives space for reaching down into something and pulling up. So I think that's good. There we are, all finished. I didn't bolt it down yet. I'll do that in a little bit, but. And then we got our little compartment for putting the pedal in and right now the jacks are down on the caster so it sits very stable there we are ready for pot making now we just need some a few more improvements in the garage and we'll be ready to throw pots and fire them. Luna's interested too. <laughs> Luna, are you interested? Say bye-bye. Speak. Good girl. Luna, speak. Say bye. <laughs>